Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to continue our Pikmin adventure. Um, I made a mistake, so I had to reset my video, but we are on day 30. Uh, does it tell us here? No, it doesn't. Hey guys, we're on day 30. We are one whole month in, and we are going to go right back in to the uh, Giant's Hearth. And we're going to continue exploring, you know, looking through the area. Uh, probably do another cave. And, you know, continue to uh, complete this game 100%. I mentioned last time that we will probably do night expeditions later. If not, maybe even the next video. Uh, I want to know how many caves are remaining here. Um, I will save whatever last cave we find for last. That way we get all the night expeditions done first. That way if we do find Nell and somehow that ends the game, we can finish the game 100%. All the leaflings are cured, all the treasure is found, and we finish the game 100% complete in the last cave. So I don't know if that's how it works, but I'm assuming that's how it's going to be. And so let's get right back into this area and uh, continue exploring. So, real quick, we're right in the middle of the entire place. We have all this southern area to explore. Um, we also have this cave all the way down here that we could go and do today, which maybe we probably will. If not, we can also do a Dandori battle over there, one over here as well. Um, no more treasures on this side though, so that's pretty good. Uh, we did this cave, and then uh, there's probably another one either over here or over there. Maybe there might be even be two. So first, we'll probably work on this area here since we can get in. Uh, we need to go through this section, I believe, somewhere right here. And I don't really know what we need, so might as well just go in and figure that out. So we'll pull out the same uh, recommended Pikmin. Just because, you know, they're here. Oops, not yellow. And rock. Because I have no idea what we'll need. But since that's, you know, the recommended, we'll just uh, take what we need. Uh, where's the direction? This way. Um, I was thinking about it the other day. And on contrary to Pikmin, like Pikmin 2, you know, the game's telling us what we need in the area. Suggested in the area and it's kind of disappointing that that's even a thing i kind of wish it wasn't that way that any decisions we make is our you know is our own decisions we make the mistakes of bringing the wrong pikmin type or you know oops, we bring the wrong pikmin type and or uh you know everything that we do is our fault or our uh consequence Oh, he stole my Pikmin. I was like, wait, what happened to my guy? Man, what the heck? You gotta be kidding me. It's not gonna go get another one. Gosh dang it. Okay, um, here. You guys take that. Leave that guy alone. So now I gotta go get another one, because he picked my guy up out of my hand, no less, and I didn't even realize it. water. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. Oops. What is over here? So we need to break this through. So, oh, so we need one red guy. Okay. That's fine. So let's disband. Hey, that's another okay. So again, reinforcing the problem with this game. I only want one guy, and yet I have to bring. You know, I can't just 
call and then disband, call and disband. I have to throw them individually, which is kind of annoying. But I can't, I can't, I can't throw my guy. I can't, I can't, this is ridiculous. Stop going after it, please. See, if I if I didn't throw it perfectly up there, he gets stuck and he, he doesn't know what to do. And now that I have red Pikmin, I gotta throw him across. Look. Now they're gonna follow me for no reason. It's like they, you guys don't you guys can't swim and you guys just went across the water for no reason. Well, they all lost their flowers. You guys are not smart. All right. Now, now instead of pressing one button, I gotta do this, and then I gotta do this. Hopefully, like this guy's still coming with me. Don't come with me. I just want to know what's over here. Okay, so I actually do need the blue. There you go. All right. So now Ochi can get up here, which. Uh, I will bring him over here. Now let's get everyone else, I guess. I don't know what's up there, so we need to figure that out. So everyone hop on. I'm gonna send some of you guys over here actually to get this. And then the rest of us will go up. can't jump that high. Okay, that's uh, quite strange. So in order to get this, I'm guessing I need yellow Pikmin. So that's kind of weird. There is stuff up there though. Uh, I guess we have to go a different route. Probably over here. So I'm probably going to have to throw my red Pikmin up here to get fire again. So we could actually make a base here too. Hello, get over here. Oh, so we have to go around this way. Ah, so we gotta make this. So you guys get on that. Something over here? No. So there is this. Okay, cool. I'll just have the rock Pikmin do this, since uh, they haven't done anything yet, so I probably don't need them, really. It's funny, actually, I could probably bring the base over here. Yeah, I'll just bring the base over here. Sorry, guys, you gotta come back this way. <laughs> Alright, so we got Big Lips over there, who is not exactly huge, which is funny. So I'm going to need to gather my Pikmin up to fight him. Oh, look, here we are. So here's some more guys. I'm gonna kill his little buddies first, then I'll deal with him after. So I could probably ram through this one and hit the other guy. There you go. Easy. So now we need to light this thing up. Where's the nearest hearth? Uh, other side, this way. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's music playing in the background. It's kind of calm and quiet. Um, it's not my cup of tea, honestly, for a Pikmin game. I'm a little disappointed the music in this game is not, you know, more, uh, more action-y. I don't know what I'm trying to say, action-y, but... Oh, hello. These bugs are annoying, it's going off Pikmin.
So that was interesting. That was a, actually a creative uh, way to have those bugs popped in because uh, I lifted a rock and they came out from under the rock. So that was pretty creative. I'll give them that. Ooh, look, I need bombs. Finally, I can use my bombs. All right, so we need to pull these out. It's been a while since I need to use these. Two more? Oh, no, it's just one. That's okay. All right, so there's all that. There's a monster? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll just have uh, the red pick and do this. What's this? Where's this take us? Just to the other side. Okay. Just materials, alright. So, there's nothing really over here. There's an onion though. Oh my god, look, it's Emperor Boblax. And it's an actual... Emperor Bull Blacks. It ain't no tiny, tiny one. Oh my god, he's creepy. Alright, uh, we're gonna need to gather our Pikmin for this. And if he is the same as always, we should be able to just use red Pikmin to take care of him. Uh, I wonder if rock would be any good against him. Either way, I'm not gonna use my rock because, uh, uh, yeah, there's no point. I think uh, red is the way to go. Or I could just send a bunch of white and just have him eat them, and then he'll die. <laughs> if this was like Pikmin 2, I would definitely maybe consider it, just because uh, I don't, you know, it would get rid of him really easily. But I'm not gonna be that cruel. Are you gonna go back to bed or what? Charging, bad idea. Oh boy! Learn that from Pikmin 1? <laughs> Boom in his mouth. quite a bit of Pikmin against him. But that's the kind of battle I want to see in this kind of game, you know? Make the advancement of the, of the, the battles like that. This is exactly what I wanted. And over here we can see, look, it's a rock Pikmin onion. So as we can see, we can now make rock Pikmin from natural resources. I like that. Although it's a little late because I don't know if we even need more kind of rock colored eh? because we found the ice onion right and we don't even need that one uh, we got it and yet we have no need for the ice Pikmin right now so it's kind of disappointing that we were getting these onions so late I have some blue Pikmin somewhere are they at the ship no I don't know where they are. It says I had blue Pikmin out, right? Yeah, I have blue Pikmin out somewhere. Not sure where. I'm gonna pull out my yells real quick because we need to go get that toothpick. I mean, not really toothpick, but a pick. It's over here. Here. Oh, that's a fire. That's a I forgot he's alive. Ignore him. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this real quick. Oh, I can't. Oh, does that mean I need to go around and throw it off? If I remember, I couldn't. 
Oh, I could jump. Oh my goodness. I could jump. I just needed to do the right jumping sequence. So we got another Dandori up here. Hello. It's a leafling. Come, it is Dandori time. They're completely consumed by the ant, art, art, ants, art of Dandori. We gotta free them. Okay, well, we'll do that another time. Oh, there they are. I forgot they were making that platform so I could climb up. And now we got rock picking added to the onion. Very colorful. We got another far look over here. I guess these things are just here. Yeah, it doesn't look like these things do anything, so I guess we're done. That means we are officially done here. If I'm seeing that correctly, yes. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna start heading to that cave while these guys are carrying your carrying everything that way we can do a cave for the rest of this day is that we hit straight yes it is straight this way so once they collect everything uh, as we know the game will automatically put the Pikmin away and I can choose which Pikmin I want to take in and we'll do the cave so our onion did get bigger again oh we gotta collect those things I wonder if those things will still be there if I go into a cave not that I really need them. It would be nice, you know, if it was still there. So we'll just wait until they collect the treasure, which is literally in a few seconds. There we go. So everyone should be there. Looks like it. Looks like we're all good. So as we can see, we have explored pretty much everything. Uh, the only thing we have left to do is go over here. We saw, or right here, right where this mark is, this is where Louie was. Uh, we saw him as we in the background as we were moving around. And then we also got this section over here. So other than that, we're pretty much good to go. So, I'll probably do this cave today, or in this video I should say. Next time we come in, maybe do all the Dandori battles as well as do whatever needs to be done over here. Sounds like a plan. We'll see. We'll see what we have time for. Cradle of the Beast. So many creatures came toward me at once. It was like an all-you-can-eat buffet. My belly's so full, I couldn't eat another bite. Look at the larva in the picture. Uh, I think I was able to punch now, right? So I should be able to just kill those guys easy. So there's one rescue in here as, 12, as well as 12 treasures. Makes me think there might this might be a pretty small cave, maybe one or two floors. Uh, there's wild Pikmin. We need our purple in here as well as rocks. So I'm going to skip out on fire. I don't even know if we even need all these guys, right? So I'm going to skip out there. I'm going to leave 10 behind. I'm going to take more of you guys. Actually, here, since I can't take that many. Uh, more red. There we go. Seems like a good number. <sighs> Alright. Cradle of the Beast. Sub-level 1. If you think I, I'm itching a lot here, it's because I got bit by a flea. I can't ask fleas. <laughs> it just... <laughs> And I got bit just now, too. Alright. So, what do we got? Decent floor. Uh, we could start by going this way, I guess. Ooh, monkey guy. Boom. Here it is. Uh, we also got a, uh, what's it called? Purple uh, candy pop bud. Purple Pikmin. We need to burn this, so we will have to get more Pikmin. Which I see the hearth all the way in the background over there. So we'll do that. Uh, 
And oh, and there's one here too. Okay, so we have to go this way. So it looks like we have to get the one all the way in the back. So um, maybe this guy can burn this for us. Maybe. Can you burn this, sir? Yep. Perfect. I'm gonna drop you guys real quick. We're gonna charge his back. He did. <laughs> Easy. Uh, so we got some water things here. Let's take these things out. There's our exit over there. Now we can just uh, pick everything up. Let's get that. And this. And the rest of us can go this way. that as well so uh right back Ochi stay right there alright cool and then we get more purple Pikmin So first, we'll take care of the flying guy, because he's the biggest issue. Yeah, <laughs> that was close. That was actually pretty close. Whoa. Ochi's tail. I'm like, who, who is in a uh, uh, flower? It's, it's Ochi. <laughs> Alright, that looks like it's everything. So we're good. So once they get that treasure, we're good to go. We're done. Alright, cool. So first floor, not a problem. Uh, 33%. So it looks like it's going to be three floors. This will be the second one. What we got? What we got? Okay, so we got quite a few things to do. Uh, looks like we're going to have to split up. All right, so I'm going to get off Ochi. I'm actually going to take only my rock here. Uh, 
Oh. Uh, even though my rock pigment got smashed, they didn't die. That's kind of interesting. He's not hopping. Why aren't you hopping? Okay, I'll just smash you, I guess. I was waiting for him to hop, but he didn't want to hop. So again, like before in Pikmin 3, Rock Pikmin make uh, combat like this pretty easy. Because they, uh, they kill really fast. So, you know, battling the Wallywogs, pretty easy battles. Alright, cool. There's all that. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I'm gonna switch to... Ochi. You're gonna go this way. What is over here? Let's find out. Uh, we need to make stuff. Oh, and Ochi can actually hit this. Hello. Alright, so that clears that out. Is that it? That was it? Okay. I'll just have Ochi do this. Ooh. Too easy. Heck, you know what? Here. I'll even have him do this because it's that easy. Alright. So now we can all move in. Here. I just wanna take him. Let's feel free. Anyone who's not, please, uh, flowered up. Like that. Reds, here you go. Do that. So it looks like we'll need the Rock Pikmin to take that guy out. Although we don't really need Rock, but it'll be most effective with the Rock Pikmin, so we'll take care of that. Once the bridge is made. Tail over there. There you go. Alright. Everyone together. Look out. I was slow as heck. Oh my god. What's happening? I'm losing a lot of Pikmin. What am I doing? I'm being stupid. Alright, okay, it was a mistake to take this many Pikmin. Let's get out of here. What am I doing? I just lost all my purple. Because I'm being stupid as heck. I said I'm going to use the rock Pikmin. And what do I do? I use, uh, I use the purple. I stupidly used the wrong kind of Pikmin for no reason. That was really dumb of me. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my It's huge. Oh no. Do I even have enough? I don't have enough Pikmin. 
<laughs> For the first time, we officially can't get this, a treasure, because I was stupid, and I killed my purple Pikmin. Wow, that's sad. Wow, take his body. Take the spoils, my goodness. This is also why we like a C stick. But we didn't we don't have a C stick for this game, so. Oh my gosh. Um I had 150. I'm only gonna get 50 more from the candy pop bud, so yeah, we only we don't even have enough. Oh my god, I gotta leave it. I have to leave it and come back. That's so lame. That's so lame. I don't know what I was thinking. I have no idea what I was thinking. That was so stupid of me. Look at this gourd, glorious hand. Look at this thing. Oh my god. And I gotta leave it here. To rot. <laughs> oh, I gotta come back in. So what we can do is we'll just uh, we'll just uh, when we exit the cave we'll just hop right back in before the countdown finishes, and we'll grab it. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it, right? Oh, there's one more. There's one more over there. So let's do that real quick. Oh, it's in the air, that's why I didn't see it. Okay, so they got that. Uh, where's the exit again? It's over there, right? Yeah, okay, so... Alright, so we're just gonna have to leave it here. Uh, we'll come right back in once we finish. Wow, I don't know. I have no idea what I was thinking. No clue whatsoever. I was literally running. You guys saw. I was running in circles for no reason. I was like, yeah, not, my my brain just shut down, and I was just like, yeah, you stabbed my Pikmin. So what? I got more. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. All right. Well, nothing we can do. I lost just, what, five? Five too many? Well, in this case, I actually don't have enough to pick it up, so I probably lost ten too many. Ten Pikmin too many. Wow. Very disappointing, but it is what it is. Alright, last floor. I don't know what the bot. Oh my god, look. Another Empress Bullblax? Let's hop on Uchi and see what's up. What's over here? Can't go that way, right? I don't know why is that thing. Okay. Uh, the exit. Oh my good. <laughs> okay. It scared me. I didn't even see them coming. Like, why are they on the side of the wall? Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad, guys. Um, right. drop those. First, I'm gonna have my purple do this. I don't want them anyways. The purple, you stay here. I don't want my purple coming into contact with uh, the Empress. God, look how many there are. Okay, um. So I'm gonna disband. Disband. Me and Ochi are gonna go ramming. Oh. Oh. Whoa! What are you guys doing? I can't move. <laughs> why? Why did you guys come here? What the hell? I didn't tell you guys to come here. 
Stay over there. Can I punch? No, I can't. What are they doing? Okay. This is going to be difficult. So. They're definitely not as hungry. Look at them. They're not even going after me. So I did that. There's so many of them, and they keep spawning faster than I can actually kill them. That's actually pretty hilarious. Alright, I'll kill a few more, and then we'll go. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh god, there's someone on this side. Oh no! We're <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were able to hide on one side of the wall and not be hit. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So comparatively to the uh, last time we fought her, she's moved. She spawns those guys super fast, and she's also uh, and she's also uh, stronger. Look at how no! Oh, he's alive. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now this is the Empress Bulblax that I wanted to fight before. Good, everyone good. Uh, I just realized I used my rock pick then. I can't carry her body away since uh, she's too big over there. So I gotta break that down real quick. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Get those ducks in a row. Alright, so this cave actually proved to be a little bit more difficult, even though it was short. A, because I blew a, I drew a brain fart and I didn't think about... I didn't think about how to uh, fight properly. And then... Uh, this one actually proved to be a, a more difficult boss since she uh, actually used her baby making skills to the maximum as well as uh, there's just a lot of them and she rolled and was more durable so cool that's always cool to see oh right we need the officer it's like who are we missing look they're buried that's so sad Alright, so once we get them, we'll head on out, head right back in, get the purple Pikmin, get the ham, and then get out again. So, should be really fast. Alright then, I'm checking the ID. Uncharted Planet Taurus Horatio. Horatio. I'm going to go with it's more of a uh, non-Japanese pronunciation, so Horatio. Horatio. Home planet of Sozar. A uh, proud member of the gig economy. Gig economy? Hmm. He likes to think he spreads cheer wherever he goes, but he usually does the opposite. Interesting. An eccentric sort. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so I went in with Pikmin, and I, lo I went out with less Pikmin. Yeah. How many purple did I lose? Ah, oh, 16. How did I get in there? 15? I think I got 15 in there. So I needed all of them to be alive to get that ham. See, I need at least 30. 
So once we go back in, we need to make sure we get the candy pop buds and we don't lose anybody. Yeah. That was a uh, that was disappointing. That was disappointing. All right, so we'll hop we'll hop right back in real quick, get the ham and get out again. So we finished the cave 100% before the day's even done. So I'm going to go straight to level, sub level 2. It won't let me. Alright, so unfortunately we got to go all the way back in the next day and do it all over. That, that's unfortunate. It really is. Okay. Um, there's nothing else we can do here, so I guess the time will just run out. So I'll just uh, end the day. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't like that. We shouldn't. That shouldn't be a thing because in Pikmin 2, if you guys remember, if you guys watch my videos... I literally cut it close to the very, very end. I went into another cave to redo it because I didn't finish it. Um, I redid it with zero seconds remaining on the countdown. So the fact that I can't do it here is just a disappointment. It's something that, again, we were able to do before and they took it out. So, again, it's another one of those features where, hey, just leave it in the game. Just because it's nighttime doesn't mean it's dangerous. I mean, look, we have the glow Pikmin. Just pretend we're like we're going to do a night expedition. In fact, the night creatures aren't even... One, they're not even more dangerous than the regular ones. And then two, there honestly isn't even that many. So, again, it should have just let me fight. Just let me fight. So let me do night expeditions after day expeditions. Like, it should have just been the option to do it right after. Instead of having us to do separate days. Paintology series. Cool. I guess. I, I, it doesn't really matter to me. Alright, so we got another another 15% only. And I did lose Pikmin, as you guys can see. A lot of red as well. So. Oh well. It is what it is. I don't know Colin, but I doubt the tales of my misadventures on the job would be any help to the rescue corps. Well, hey. uh, I disagree entirely. I believe they could be a useful reference. Every little bit of information helps on this planet. Alright, well, if you insist. First and foremost, you must understand that the schedule is the most important thing. Nobody appreciates late cargo. No. But the real challenge was learning to withstand long distance travel and all the heavy lifting. Funny story about that. Um, I, I didn't want to hear those stories about freight management, Olimar. I want to hear about your time as a castaway. Uh huh. Alright. Oh, an unfortunate loss. This is an AL. This is a loss for us in this one. Because now I gotta spend time to go back to that cave. I didn't want to do that, but. In the end, we probably will have a day where we just wrap up everything, just like we did in the other places. So, yeah, it's just the way it has to be, unfortunately. So, either way, we'll see. We'll see what time constraints, you know, allows us to do stuff. Like I said, so next time, we'll probably just finish exploring the entire area. Find out how we get to A, what we do with Louis, and then B, what's over there, because I'm pretty sure there's one more treasure on the surface, if not near Louis. Um, we'll do all the Dandori battles before we chase Louis, because I believe he might even go into a cave. And we'll, if we have the time, if the Dandori battles don't take up uh, a ton of time in the day, we'll go out and head right into that cave, get that one big giant ham, and then get out. So. Yeah, that's where we're going to be at, and that's uh, that's probably what we're going to do next time. And then after that, I'm not sure. Um, if Louie is truly the end game, uh, maybe we might do Night Expeditions instead. I'll have to think about it. I uh, Let me see. Because, he said 45, right? Uh, there's three treasures. 
uh, three leaflings, and then I guess Nell will probably be one of the one last ones inside whatever cave Louis is going go into. So you know what? Now that I think about it, we should do exp night, night expeditions. Yeah, we'll do night expeditions. So, um, yeah. How many got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven here now, and then we got three on the field. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, I will probably. How about this? So next time we'll go right into the giant's hearth again. We'll do all three Dandori battles. So that's three more leaflings. Get the treasure if we have time as well, and as well as whatever else needs to be done on the surface. And then once we do all that, we'll do night expeditions, and then after that we'll chase Louie down. Cause I'm because it says there's 55% treasure still remaining. I highly doubt that we're gonna be able to just get the one surface treasure, the one ham I missed, and then that's gonna cover 55%. So or you know, whatever percentage that is. Because there's only one cave left, and I'm pretty sure that's where Louie's heading. So we'll just do that next time. So we'll do multiple days of night expeditions in one video and see where it takes us. So yeah, that's the plan. And yeah, we'll go with that. So thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys thought. What did you guys think of that ham? Looked delicious, right? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, we'll... Just keep going with this, see where it takes us. Not sure where this is all going, but we'll find out. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you then. Bye-bye.